hello, the game has started. It's my opponent who's gone first and played a bingo straight away. I have quite a few floaters to consider, but do I have a bingo with this rack? It doesn't look particularly promising with the duplicate tiles. Banneret, if one of my A's were an E. I've got the non-prefix. What about the R and the S? Well, neither of those is looking particularly promising. So how to sort the rack out? Well, I could play ban here. Or, or nab, but I think ban scores more. Leaving alone the, the good floaters in jailers, which go well with my rack leave. In particular the E. And I want to keep the board, the board open because I'm behind. So ban for 13. I draw the Q, but I have the U to go with it. A long way from a bingo. I have Trank on my rack. And I have Quartz. And Sook through the S, but getting the Q tripled. I can't see any bingo with this rack. I've also got Cat in column 6, which will score more than Sook, but that retains the U on the rack, which is a non bingo -y tile. But it's good that I will be able to get rid of the Q. Wow, look at that 68 point double double from my opponent. Fantastic start for him. And that's my cat spot taken. But I do have the suck spot. But that is taking out this S floater, which would be quite nice to keep. So I could play quad through the D. Or I could play quad across here, scoring off the Z as well. That's 30 points. Not a great rack leave, but a better rack leave than if I had played quad. Can I do better than this? I think I can. Because I can do this. I can do trank, keeping the U, which is ordinarily a bad thing. But the U goes well with the Q. So I may have a big Q play next, next turn. And 50 points is a big, big score. So I'm going with this. I draw the second U, so I have Kipu in column 15 for about 50 points. Do I have a bingo elsewhere? I, I can't see a bingo with the Q. 62 points for my opponent, so he's now 140 points ahead. This gets rid of both U's, 48 point score and a decent rack leave. I'm going with this. That looks a little better. If I don't have a bingo, I've got a balanced rack and some good scoring tiles. The H and W go well together, so I should be able to play both of them off and leave a decent rack leave. All of the floaters in jailers remaining available. There, there could be a bingo here. I'm just considering the floaters. Nothing's come to mind so far. If one of my A's were an E, I would have a choice of bingos. So what about the S? Just not seeing anything. Opponent gets 33 for Reek. So he's slowing down a bit. He's just 120 points in the lead. So I have what across here. And, well, I'm thinking about playing the A as well. 
which would score two more points, but placing an A underneath this triple word square invites just a two-letter play ending with a premium tile for a decent score, so I'm going to hold on to the A, despite it giving me a vowel-heavy rack leave. So what for 40? Can I do better than that? No, I don't think so. Now, this looks close to a bingo. Again, the duplicate A, which I think I've had on quite a few racks now. Does this rack go with the R or the S? Well, I'm not seeing anything with the with the S. What about the R? Not seeing anything there either. Hacker is good. So in the top right, I could play had for a decent score. 34 points. My opponent playing quite quickly. Still got 17 minutes on his clock. Quite an open board. I'm just looking around for any floaters I've overlooked. 23 points for my opponent. And D curve takes a D and an S. So although he's obstructing the floaters in jailers, the board is still open and my dar spot remains available. I'm just looking at the two letter pairs that my opponents created, but I'm not seeing anything through them. Had for 34. I draw the J. So again, I don't think I have a bingo here, but I have a scoring tile. Zo takes an A in front, so I could play Jar and Zo. And I guess when I played Watt, I could have played Water and Azo for 42. I got 40 for Watt. Possibly Watt a better play. The W in column 1 would be an easy scoring spot for my opponent. I don't think there are any seven or eight letter bingos with this rack, so I really am just looking to get rid of the J. Playing J A, keeping double E, G and S isn't a fantastic rack leave. What are the alternatives? Well, I've got Jar in a, another spot in column six with the same rack leave. My opponent continuing to score well. Now, do I have a five-letter play ending in A? I don't. I've got Jago, which I could play in row I, but that's taking out two good bingo lanes. So I don't want to do that. I don't think, or well, I know Jenga isn't good, otherwise I think that would be the play. So I've got J for 30. Jar rather. What about jar in column six? Twenty-nine points, so I think this is this is better. Not not good at all. Not close to a bingo, and I trail by a bingo. Fortunately the board is still open. So I'm looking to play off the W. Azo takes an, an N, so I could play when in row G. That's quite nice. Rapley not fabulous. Great opponent slowing down a bit, still both blanks to come. Now, when is slightly dangerous in that it invites a high-scoring non-bingo play in row H, but any such play would leave the S of Jailers alone. It would also create a new floater in a triple word lane. This rack leave is pretty bad. A 
I've got Wenge and Ngui on my rack. Let me just momentarily take this back in case there's a better play. So I could play Wenge or Wenges and Wem. Tempting. 28 points, creating two new floaters, keeping the E, R, and S of Jailers all available. I'm inclined to go with this. Playing off six tiles is pretty good with only 33 tiles in the bag and both blanks amongst them. I'm going with Wenges. And I draw one of the blanks. Do I have a bingo? I think I have D, I, and I's. Do I, though? Yes, D, I, and I's in row H onto this E. And I will also have the same play onto the E of Wenges. So, finally, I'm going to bingo in this game. But what's my opponent going to score? Quite a critical moment, because he's only 70 or 80 points ahead. With a low score, D, I, and I's might bring me close to him. But with a high score, I could still find myself a bingo behind. And quite a difference in score between the row H play and the row M play. Row M play being just face value. Okay, an in-between sort of score, 33 points, fairly average. So D, I and I's for 77 Not too bad, but not great either. Still the second blank out there. Wow, nice bingo by my opponent. That puts him a bingo ahead and with a good chance of having a decent rack and possibly the blank. So I'm not looking in good shape here. Can't see a bingo. Close to confetti. I don't think confetta is good. I think it's confetti and confetto. 11 tiles to come. The F is the non bingo tile and the duplicate T. Reek takes a C, so I could open up a new lane in column 9 if I had a decent three-letter play ending with C. But I think the best I can see is Tok and that isn't great. Just looking at the floaters at the beginning of DINIs to be sure I don't have a bingo. Well, I'm not seeing one. So where can I play off my F? Well, I'm not seeing anywhere. All of the T's have gone. So I could play fat. And I've got the T for making oft. And if opponent's got a lot of eyes, he may not be able to get a lot of value out of row uh, only 15 points, which is dismal. But I think to have any chance of winning this game, I need to bingo and therefore need to get rid of my non bingo -y tiles. I'm going with this. No duplicates. But do I have something? Nothing's coming to mind, and I'm looking especially at the E of D, I, and I's. Through an A, I would have Daltonic and Anti-Cold. No A's available. No, I'm not seeing a bingo with this rack, which is a shame, since the bag is nearly empty. I'm not really looking at row O. I think there's a big chance my opponent will go there, so I'll turn my attention to that should it remain available.
where else is available on this board? Well, I think my next move is partly going to depend on how many tiles are left in the bag. Just looking again at this, this E in case I have a bingo through it. But I'm not seeing anything. It'll be fairly high probability. If I think I have no hope of winning, for example, if my opponent bingos now, then a play of diction might be considered. So I'm 120 points behind, four tiles in the bag. I think I need to leave open the possibility of bingoing. So I need to play off three tiles. I can do that with Doc, keeping Lint. Doc for 23. I missed the blank, but the remaining tiles looking pretty non bingo -y. So I have Stellion through the E. And that may have an anagram, or it may not. But Stellion is good. Wow, okay, so there was a bingo in the remaining tiles. Great spot by my opponent. A bingo featuring G, U, V and F. Fortunately, there's one tile left in the bag. So I do get a chance to reduce the, the losing spread. Do I have a bingo beginning with N? I don't think so. Or O. I'm not seeing anything with this rack, so I just need to score. Can my opponent go out in two spots with his R? He can. Uh, and or. Just wondering about Stilson, which may be good, but doesn't fit. So what's the most I can score? I've got no scoring tiles on my rack. So I can play Elints for 21. Nine minutes on my clock. Do I have anything in column one? Not which beats a lintz in terms of score and rack leave. Fugitive takes an S. Can't see anything fantastic. Nothing goes in front of OF apart from the, the O, and I would need that for going in front of the M. I'm going with the lintz. Probably not optimal, but I suspect it's not far off. And the opponent will be going out with his R. Can he get more than two points for it? Yes, he can, I think. Where's he gone? Earn for six. And the final score, 379 for me, 546 for my opponent, a winning margin of 167 points. So, fantastic win for my opponent. Well done to him. Let's see what I missed. It was my opponent to go first. He had this rack and played jailers. Galore's also available. My rack. Wow, I thought that might be a bingo popping up at the top, and it's not. So Rabana available for 36 as a double double. Instead, I played Ban for 13, so Rabana a better play. 
and my opponent then goes in that spot. Sorry, he 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 goes in the same spot in the sense that it's the Rabana spot, but he does use a tile from Ban to go there. But anyway, a good spot on his part. My rack, I have Trank for 50. Opponent's then got Nox for 62, so superb start for him, 360 plus plays, and he's got 200 points on the board with less than one and a half minutes on his clock. Elapsed. I have Kipu for 48. Opponent has Reek, and then I have this rack. I thought about water, but preferred what? And now opponent has D curve, which sorts a pretty ugly looking rack out. Now, this is when my rack started to look a little bit better. No bingo. And I play Had for 34, and I like that. That's a nice rack leave. Opponent plays Boom, and is now 100 points in the lead. I play JA for 30. And opponent's got tie for 25. I play Wenges for 28, and I still like that. Opponent plays Yi. And finally, I have a bingo on my rack, a choice of them. L4. Ah, because of D curves, that would have scored 82. And I got 77 for D I and I's. Not a, not a huge difference in score. And the I and I's does provide a number of floaters, which I still need as I trail. But I soon trail by a lot more, as my opponent's got a bingo on his rack with Motelia, which would have been blocked by... by playing Iodides and D-curves, I think. Tricky rack here. I wanted to leave a Bingui rack leave, and that's certainly not achieved with FO double T. So all of these are pretty grim until you're down to often at J9, which is quite a nice play. So I play fat for 15. I think often would have been better. Opponent did have eyes, but played through the pain with pain. Now... Okay, great, I didn't miss a bingo here. And I trail by 120, so I think the my chances of winning are remote, but I am creating a new bingo lane with Doc. And now a great spot by my opponent, Fugitive for 82. And I'm left with this rack. No bingo here. And I played a Lince for 21. Stolid A4. Yep, that would have been slightly better. So, a pretty brutal game. Fantastic start for my opponent with Jailers and then a big Z and X play on the next two moves. I'm not sure. Well, no, I did bingo with DI and I's, but it was just the one and it was too little and too, too late. My opponent's got nearly 550 points, so he was on, on fire in this game and made some good plays. So, well done once again to him. I hope you enjoyed watching that game and I will see you next time.